Howdy everyone. Well, it's been a while since I did a moto vlog. And the last moto vlog I did here was in uh, San Francisco. And now here I am in Los Angeles. This has been great. <laughs> As you see from then till now, I have uh, 2,321 miles on this bike now. Pretty amazing. It's been great, went through that break-in period, it was awesome. Opened her up and she's been spot on since. All right, so right here in front of us, this is Disney Animation Studios, right here. So this is HQ to Disney, ain't that some? I've been looking at a lot of videos uh, for recommended settings and I'm trying this out. There was a few other settings that I did prior to this where like everything just seemed very washed out and very high contrast. And again, that could just be because I don't have any ND filter. So when I changed the shutter speed, to, it let more light in, which overexposed everything wasn't good. I had to leave the shutter on auto and make other adjustments with ISO and everything else. Right now I'm just shooting with the uh, max lens in the uh, super view angle here. Well, I had to get past those cars. And because I'm not taking the interstate, I'm gonna go through the little back roads here take the scenic route. Where I'm taking us today is to Griffith Park. I'm gonna to ride up to the observatory and see what it looks like from there. So that mountain there on that side, that's actually Griffith Park that you see. But right now, I am heading into Griffith Park. The road I'm going on is gonna be called Zoo Drive. So I'm going left. Now this is definitely the sightseeing route. We're going on an adventure. So the way we're going, I believe we should also come to the Greek theater. Uh, I don't know if you all remember the movie, let's get him to the Greek. Yeah. So this is sort of uh, exactly where it was. We should be in there soon. A lot of people are out today. It seems it's early in the morning. Good place to have a picnic. The Los Angeles Zoo. Check that out. So I was doing a little light reading on here. And Mr. Griffith Griffith uh, was a philanthropist and a felon. Uh, he did shoot his wife in the face and uh, took out an eye. She did survive. Good thing she did survive. After he got out, he thought it would be nice that cities should have parks for the plain people, as he would call them since this gentleman was quite wealthy, he started buying up land, uh, which is what we are on right now. After his passing, he uh, donated this whole property to the city of Los Angeles in terms for them to allow the plain people, for everyone, to come and enjoy its marvelous features and uh, uh, landscape that it has to offer. So we have golf courses here as well. And, Fun fact, uh, uh, roughly a hundred years ago, give or take, uh, Babe Ruth found out he was going to the Yankees, uh, being traded from the Boston Americans to the New York Yankees. Yeah, fun fact, huh? Pretty good, pretty good. And it was here on the links that he had signed that deal, or had signed that trade. Pretty interesting. Another thing too that I read is Disney had his idea for the whole parks and everything was from uh, a day he had spent just gazing and walking around Griffith. So yeah, it seems like a lot of inspirations uh, from well-known people and ideas came uh, from here. Also, also, also. Uh, Griffith is known to host a lot of movies. I mean, we are in Los Angeles, so this is Mecca for anything Hollywood or entertainment. The Brunson Caves was here too, which uh, let it be known, that's the cave that Batman used to 
uh, drive into that held the Batmobile for the TV series, uh, I believe back in the 60s. Uh, we'll have to try to fact check that. But uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, it is such a wonderful day. I hope this is not too drained out because I am driving into the sun. That does not turn out well with exposure. Also, I hope my levels are coming in pretty good here. That should be the LA River right there. Yeah, I forgot to mention there was pony trails here. Totally forgot. All right, this is good. Just now leaving out Griffith, because I have to leave the park. And I'm gonna come out. Good thing about having a motorcycle. Also, you can launch off the line very quickly. We are on the other side of the hill is what we would call this. More properly LA, where I just came from. The other side of the hill is mostly like Burbank. The valley is what they would call that. Thank you, kind sir, for allowing me to do that. Yeah, the one thing that I noticed here too is this is all, a lot of the cars use that right lane to park. At certain times, you can park on the street like that and it's available. We are going to the observatory and the Greek theater. So earlier I had mentioned about Get Him to the Greek. Uh, I think Russell Brand was in that, Diddy, Jonah Hill, and some other stars. Those are the ones I can recall from the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's where they travel, I believe from London, straight to Los Angeles to get him to the creek for a performance. Now, I'm going to say, whenever there is some activity happening, this place just gets freaking busy. It's slow because it's this residential area. The houses look spectacular. This is one thing I still haven't done yet here, and that was actually do like a hike slash trail. That needs to be done. Alright, fire damage. Yeah, it is high today. So welcome to Griffith. See up there is the observatory. A few other things here. Roosevelt Golf Course. Yeah, whenever you um, come here, it's best to start early, like at least 6 a.m. To make sure that you're in, you do what you got to do, and then get out. Because, you know, since we're in the times of the pandemic, oh, this is the Greek theater right here. This is the famous Greek theater. A lot of performances here, lots. You wanna get in here early, make sure that you have enough time and space to get your activities done, and then you leave, you know? Plus, especially if you wanna to go to the observatory, it's only open three days out of the week to go inside. Uh, we're talking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. During the rest of the week, it is closed. However, you are still able to go up to the top and uh, take in the spectacular views and the skyline from the top. Oh yeah, we go straight through the tunnel, baby. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up to the observatory. I'm not gonna get off the bike though. I'm gonna just go up. Maybe I get off the bike, who knows? Let's see how crowded it is. This is why I think it would, be, it would have been best to do this earlier. That way um, there would be less crowds and I could, you know, get off the bike and, um, you know, give you a better, sort of a better tour. $10 to park per hour. Look at that. Spectacular. Spectacular. And for those of you that are new to the channel i am on a ninja 2026 50. one thing i didn't do on this bike though i did not drive this all the way down from san francisco to la so that's something i did not do yeah beautiful beautiful that look at that all the way over there is the Pacific there's the observatory and here we go back down look at that on top of the mountain all the way over there that back one oh my god that has a snow cap ah snowboarding this year needs to happen 
get it. All right, so now we're gonna go down the mountain. I kind of like how this winds a little bit. It's a really, it's really nice. See, uh, whenever it gets really, really packed, and it's gonna happen like later on in the evening, uh, you, people actually put, will start parking all the way down here, and they gotta hike up the top and then come back down. Clearly, because they gotta get back home. This is amazing. Like, amazing. Look at that. Look at that. La La Land was also shot up here too uh, with the with one of their dancing, and you see the trails right over there. You can't. This is this is amazing. Look at this. That's downtown LA right there. That's the skyline. There we go. You know what? I actually have not went up the up, up this way before. I think I may also try that. There's just so many different paths here. Yeah, this was fun and doing it in the car, so it's even funner on the bike. You know what I mean? Uh, dig it into the turn. Yeah, I think doing this later on would have definitely been problematic. Because sometimes they like block people from even coming inside due to the fact that it's just crowded. <laughs> hey Siri, take me to the Hollywood sign. 